good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Uh, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm with our wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. I owe her better than that. It's empty. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. I'm not putting my lips on that. Open up. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on... I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? I got a guy coming to look at my art. So blow. Hey, I hear you already. This is important. Not to me, you freaky looking hood. Now beat it! You knock for a reason or you just nuts? I'm not putting my lips on that. I think he's had enough. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Better hustle this back to Mo. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, little gas, and we're set.
Basically, what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks and a little gas. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Apparently, this guy has a dog. And now the odds are greatly increased That I may someday get a chance To kiss your Looks like a cabinet to me. I thank the Lord each day For the apocalypse It's empty. Folks are mostly disfigured or dead But sugar, I won't let it go to my head You must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. <laughs> I'd say that's where the gas goes. that down there in the yard it's him get him where over there quick you go around the other side and we'll have him cornered where'd he go let's call it quits huh boss no let's call on reinforcements <clears throat> 
Oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Open up, Todd. No lock. This should be easy. Fire damage. Forget about it. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Don't act a deep man. I'd better get out of here. I'd better get out of here. I'd better get out of here. 
Ah, junk. Ah, junk. Ah, junk. Ah, junk. That one ill-tempered mongrel. Cars, no thank you. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. <clears throat> nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish you up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Follow me. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blow my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, 
Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Rip Berger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors? Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I need them here. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now.